Hi, brainstormers. I thought I'd really quickly go through a, 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 an overview of Thought Office and kind of show you what it's made of. Now, I'm not going to to uh, cover all the details, but I would give you a little bit of an idea of how it works. Now, the idea is to have a clean palette. That's what you see here. Okay, that's your session. And you're going to work from it by doing two things. One is drilling down on the problem. And you do that by asking questions. This is a proven technique. It opens up the mind and it gets you going in the direction of finding out or peeling the layers of the onion of an idea or an issue or a problem. So first thing you do is you open up the Topics Browser. Okay, You click the Topics button over here, open the Topics Browser, and then you go in and you say, you know what, I'm, um, I'm going into a naming. I'm going to be naming a product or naming a service. So the first two um, pull-downs on each of these is uh, very simply, how does this thing work? So this explains how the topic modules work, and you can expand those, and you can get an idea. You'll see down here that if there's an image associated with a specific question or subject, you'll see that image, and then right here you'll have, of course, the text that accompanies it. And then you can explain, or you can expand these as well. So this has now gone from first level to second level here to third level, okay? And the maximum is four levels. We found in doing um, early brainstorming exercises that once you got beyond four levels, it was very difficult to keep track of what was going on. So this is um, the second tab here you'll find is the one that actually helps you to learn how all of the different modules work, okay? But then you get into the third one. So this third, one, two, and three here, is going to start asking you specific questions that are oriented towards the actual module you're on. So in this case, right, save every name you think of regardless of quality. A poor name may become a kernel of an outstanding name. This is pretty important. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna pop it right in here to the, to the session, okay? Now what we find is typically, one of the fastest ways to move through this is to go and find five or 10 or 20 questions and pop those in really quick, okay? Now, in doing so, and you can actually do those as a group. Like I can, you'll notice this little check mark shows up right here to, to indicate that I've actually used this question. But I can go here and here, and I can do this one as well, and I can pop all of those, and you'll see they pop right in here, okay? So this helps me to very quickly come up with a number of questions that are probing my mind and getting me to start thinking along the lines of what, what do I want to do here? What is the issue or the problem or the opportunity? And then you can click into a specific question and you can answer that question or you can add an entry and you can add a response to that question. Okay. In this case, considering the expected lifespan of the name, is the effort that will be expended in this worth the amount of time and money that will be devoted to it? And I'm going to say absolutely yes. Getting a name for this new, whoop, for this new product is key to its success. All right. So now I've got a new one. So. Success. Let's, let's play with that word a bit. This is where you get into the idea browser. Now, if this, the series of questions and your answers, is our vertical response, this is our drilling down or peeling the onion, then finding keywords and making those keywords um, valuable is, uh, is the next move. Now, I'm going to bold that keyword to let me know that, that I actually am using it. And I'm now going to go to the idea browser. You'll notice that when I selected, I highlighted success by double clicking on it, okay? That what it did is it automatically entered it into the, um, the uh, idea browser. So now I'm gonna do a word association on success. And you'll see I've got literally hundreds. You'll notice if I, if I press this again, okay? All right, I'll start on the second hundred of those. Just tons and tons of responses. And I can double click that and I can add it to the queue and I can double click this one and I can add it to the queue. And what it will do is add more and more of these, um, these responses to my results. Now I'm gonna go into quotes 
and I'm going to look at um, Richard Finneman, okay? For the successful technology, reality must take precedence over public opinions, for nature cannot be fooled. Very, very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a return right here. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to do that quote, including his name, because I want to accredit him for, for that. Now let's go to um, synonyms really quick. And I'm going to find uh, success, an event that accomplishes its intended purpose. That sounds kind of weak to me. Uh, let's call heads of success and tails of failure. Very simple. Uh, it's kind of a binary response. I'm not really much into binary responses. So let's take a look at attainment. That's pretty good. Or prosperity. There we go. A state of prosperity or fame. He's enjoying great success. All right. So we like that. We're going to actually plug that in. And we're going to add to Q. Add to Q. And then we're going to take a look at, uh, if we do this auto track, as we click each of these words, okay, occurrence, presence, all right, you'll see that they're, they're starting to add up on the left here and giving us a way to backtrack on what we're working with. Very, very cool way to kind of get a historical route to and from your idea and allows you to backtrack and go into a different thread, okay? I'm on a bad internet connection, so uh, so we're going to get some funky stuff here. But um, go back to synonym here. Happening. There we go. So natural event. How about event? We know there's going to be a few for that. Physical phenomenon. Natural phenomenon. And phenomenon. Right? You know, development. Improvement. And it, as we're going along here, we're not only building a list, but we can also copy and paste some of the content here and add it into our session. So... I'm going to kick this back so I know where that is, and I'm going to kick that back so that's there. And then why don't we go and add an image to this that's relevant to um, what we've got here. So for improvement, um, looks like a house. Looks like home improvement, huh? <laughs> Let's add that to the session. And now under absolutely yes, getting a name for the new product is key to its success. So um, unambitious, future, and achieve were three of the words that we came with. And uh, we like future. We think that's a good one. So I'm going to bold that one by hitting a command B on my Mac. Um, we've got a Richard Feniman quote, right? So we're going to go up here to style. We're going to bold italic it. And um, success, that was a word that we landed on. We like that one. All right? Great improvement is another one. So whatever the, the name is that we're working with, it's going to have some of these characteristics. So you can see how you can take... And very quickly, starting with just a raw idea, you can go into your topics, pull those forward. We're going into a naming work, uh, group. You can actually start pulling in questions that are relevant to the name. These are questions developed and in order of importance based on industry experts that do this for a living. Okay. We can pop those into a session right here, and then we can start playing with the words and linguistics around it, as well as images. So... We can pop that images up. We can take a look at it. Same thing with this one. See that? So this is how you can quickly start to decipher the basis of an idea. Now, there's many, many more options here. There's, there's um, print options and there's presentation options. You can export as um, HTML. We can take this right now and we can add a time and date stamp and decide um, how long we're going to work on a problem. You know, we can, we can finish a time and date stamp here. And um, we decided that uh, we only want to work for, um, you know, 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 minutes on something. Or if you have a client coming into the office in 15 minutes and you just absolutely have to get a project out now, this is a really effective way to do it. So this is where I'm going to start. And then on the next one, let's talk about how you can actually work back and forth with a client and how you can actually share an idea and maintain the integrity of the idea, as well as the credit for the idea as well. So, hope this is helpful. Thanks a ton. Bye now.